Um, why is there only one person back? <laughs> Hi! For the past few months, my family has been going through a lot. Did you pack your bag? Yes, yeah, Tyler. How long are you to be there? Three to five days? Five to seven. Oh, it's a long time. Can't cut it short. You're having heart surgery. I can't imagine you're going to be out of the hospital in three days. During a routine checkup with Sharif, getting cleared to play basketball, they discovered that he had a right anomalous coronary artery, an artery that just grows in the wrong place. It, he was born with it. He literally could have died from it. They let us know that, you know, Sharif needs open heart surgery. I felt my heart break. We literally are grabbing all the kids, Shaquille and I, extended family. Everybody is packing up and going up north for his surgery. I know how you are when you freak out. So I have to be like level-headed, I feel like. I think I've been doing pretty good. I have really bad moments by myself. The part that's hardest for me is that there's four other kids outside of Sharif. And after we found out how serious it was, I definitely kind of disconnected and was in a really dark place, but had to put on that happy face for the younger ones. I'll be honest, I don't want to see him in the ICU. I'm like in the bed in the ICU and I'm breathing too. And I don't think she cared me or me, but she shit either. Yeah, they take it out the same day, they said, but. I'm sure right after, that's going to look crazy. All you want to do is tell your kids it's going to be OK and don't worry, but it's open heart surgery, and we are all scared to death. All right, guys, let's roll out. I just want my kid to be all right. This is definitely the hardest thing that we've ever had to face in our lives. They are absolutely beautiful. I'm glad you're home. So, when you get a girlfriend, you're gonna tell me, right? Yeah. Oh, wow. what was the pause for? <laughs> yeah, you take that one. I can't move this stuff, folks. Are you gonna help me? I moved into a new house and I'm loving it. It is a fresh start for me, but it's sad that my five-year-old son can move boxes around better than I can because I'm in so much pain. I can't do this. I went from working out twice a day to literally waking up one day. My entire body was super achy. I'm trying to feel better and nothing is working at all. What are you doing? Everything that went down in Amsterdam was mentally traumatizing, but I also feel like physically it affected me. I just want to move on from all of the toxic that I've had to deal with. All of you will die. Kids say the craziest things. Nobody is going to die anytime soon. It's just a little joint pain. Babe, where is this place you got me going? You'll see when we get inside. Into what? Oh, man. Mm-hmm. Into oh, deep. Wow. Hi. Hi. Welcome to Into Deep. Thank I'm Carrie. You, Carrie. I'm Tammy, and Hi, this Tammy. is my husband, Reggie. Reggie. Nice to meet nice you, Reggie. Yes. I finally married Reggie. <laughs> yes, your girl is a wife. We've recently gotten married. Congratulations. Thank nice. you. Reggie's been asking me to marry him for a very long time, and every single time I've said no, I thought I wasn't enough for him. But I did some soul searching, and I realized this man loves me, I love him, we are soul mates, and I finally said yes, and you know, I've never been happier. We went on vacation to the Caymans, and everybody was diving. And so I said, this would be a great honeymoon thing to go back, but this time partake in the diving. 
I am so happy about what's happening in my life right now. I've been working on developing a shoe line. Then I've been acting, you know, a girl's got three, four shows on. Just doing my, you know, my boss bitch type of thing. And my man Reggie, <laughs> ain't no problems there, boo. You already scared. Look at your eyes. <laughs> you gotta get it going, you know? But I can't, I can't fit. I need a different type of mask. This is the only mask I can have. If you want to try this. Wait, my wig. Oh, is my wig still on? <laughs> yes, it's on. Okay. <laughs> All right. Why? There we go. Why you look so scared? You're not even in the water. I was trying to look at it in the standpoint of like, maybe it's something I could put in my arsenal. Like, in terms of with my acting. I'll be like, ah, bam, I know how to scoop it up. We gotta get you to learn how to swim first, huh? No, you don't have to learn how to swim. You just gotta run sexy. That's why people out here drowning. <laughs> people like you. The only thing I'm gonna be drowning in is these coins. I'm excited about hanging out with Jackie and Doug. Are you? You're into this double date? I f with Doug. Let me tell you what Jackie Christie gonna do. Mm -hmm. First thing she gonna do is sit us down and start asking a million questions about what's going on in our relationship. And how are we gonna respond to that? We gotta come up with a game plan. We're right not. Now. Okay, so you're just gonna ignore it. I don't want those girls in my business. That's why I don't wear a ring, babe. I feel like I don't really need to disclose that I'm married because I don't know who will be genuinely happy, who really would care. Rather than go through all of those emotions trying to figure out who's real and who's not, I just keep the to myself. Can you get out of those fins? Because you look stupid with your socks on. You sound like a hater. <laughs> Hi, it's Jackie Christie from Basketball Wives. Subscribe to VH1's YouTube channel so you don't miss anything this season.